Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. Um, if you haven't yet, please uh, hit uh, the subscribe button and the bell notification icon to be alerted anytime I post new content. And uh, what we're going to be doing tonight is another tier maker list. Um, and we're going to be using um, the website tier maker um, and we're going to be doing the, the state flags and the territory flags. Now I posted this on uh, social media the other day uh, but since then I've taken a look at some of the flags and had some second thoughts and uh, the territories will be included this time so there may be some differences than what I put on uh, social media uh, the other day. Uh, but as I said, uh, if you have not yet, please hit that like button, uh, the subscribe button, the bell notification icon to be alerted anytime I post new content, and hey, tell a friend, post this somewhere, um, get, get the word out. The first state, uh, we have up is the state of Rhode Island, and Rhode Island's flag is right here, it's a white, uh, background, uh, with a, um, a naval anchor um, surrounded by some stars, and uh, this is the state seal of Rhode Island. Uh, but I actually am a fan of this flag in particular. Uh, I'm not a fan of how they do their flag, uh, the state seal on a white or blue background. Not a big fan of that uh, style, but. Uh, with the Rhode Island, I think it's appropriate, the Ocean State. Uh, so we're going to put them in the B tier. Uh, the next state is Idaho, uh, which is right here. Uh, it's the Great Seal of Idaho, of the state of Idaho, um, on a blue background, um, and the state of Idaho. Um, really not... I'm a big fan at all of this fan uh, flag, so it's going in the F tier. Next up is uh, the state flag of Maine, and I, I want to show you the uh, state flag of Maine um, in larger detail uh, because um, so this is the state flag of Maine. Um, as you can see, um, it has two um, early pioneers um, and a pine tree. Uh, the pine tree has deep symbolism in the state of Maine. Um, it actually was on the state flag uh, previously, um, and there have been attempts uh, to change uh, the state flag back uh, to that. Um, and I, I like the ideal. Um, I think that would actually be a much better flag for Maine. Um, I'm going to give their current flag a D, though. I'm, I'm not going to knock it like I do, um, some other states with a similar design, uh, just because of the symbolism with the pine tree in it. I, I am a big fan of, of that no, nod. Um, Next is North Dakota, which is right here, um, and one of the two Dakotas um, in America. We, we have two Dakotas and two Carolinas and two Virginias. Um, it is um, almost an exact copy of the banner that the troops the state tr troop contingent carried in the Filipina-American War. Um, not a real big fan of this uh, flag. There, I mean, it's not, in my opinion, really that special, uh, anything significant. I think there uh, could have been other things that the state of North Dakota chose uh, as its state flag. So, um, yeah, it's going to be definitely an F tier. Um, I just, I think North Dakota is one of those states uh, that, that really could have tried um, harder.
Next up is the state of Connecticut. Um, and it is um, a blue background with the state seal on it. Um, and it is not very creative at all, in my opinion. Um, I think the state of Connecticut could have chosen uh, something more um, fitting uh, to be its state flag and just very disappointing. Next up is the state of Alaska. And this flag um, has the Big Dipper. Um, on it, um, of course, America's last frontier um, is the state of Alaska. Um, usually, a blue background uh, with me would would be very looked upon not great. Uh, but I but I like this flag uh, because of the state it is, uh, where it's at, uh, and just the whole look of it, I think Alaska. So, for Alaska, it's okay. The next state is Wyoming. And this is almost an S-tier flag. If it did not have the state seal in the middle of it, it would be an S-tier. But, I have to knock it uh, for that state seal in the middle. So, we're going to put it as an A tier. It's almost an S, but not quite. Uh, Virginia is a blue background with a state seal on it, and it just, and the state name. Uh, not a great flag. Uh, so, it is in the... Uh, F tier. Now the next state is my home state of Alabama. Um, and I'm going to be totally honest here, I've never really been enthralled uh, by Alabama's uh, state flag. Um, that is the Cross of St. Andrew. Um, and there's a lot of debate about the symbolism in the flag. Some people will tell you that it is a link to the Spanish uh, traditions of the state. Others will tell you uh, that it is um, a nod to the Confederacy. I can decide more probably that there is some Confederate iconography in there, but I also can see the Spanish conquistador her history as well. Um, either way, I'm not a big fan of it, but also am not totally like against it either. I put it in the C tier. Next is um, going to be our first um, S tier, and that is the state of Arizona. And Arizona has a beautiful state flag, um, just absolutely gorgeous. It is this star with 13 rays of red and yellow, and the red and yellow represent the picturesque landscape and the copper colored star signifies that Arizona produces more copper than any other state. Uh, so Arizona is going to be our first S tier, uh, just an absolutely beautiful flag. Uh, now, the next one is a flag that I originally was um, kind of down on, uh, but I did a little bit more research on it, and I'm still down on it. The Arkansas flag is a diamond, uh, because Arkansas is home to one of the few diamond mines in the country. 
and it has the um, around the diamond 25 stars that represents 25 that that Arizona uh, sorry Arkansas was the 25th state to join the Union. The four stars around it uh, represent the four countries that, and I put quotations around one of those, that Arkansas has been affiliated with. The United States, France, Spain, and the Confederacy. For a long time, um, there was debate about this. Uh, Bill Clinton codified into law that yes, it it one of those countries was the Confederacy uh, when he was governor. Uh, so uh, it's going to be an F tier, F tier for Arkansas. The next flag is similar to Wyoming's in that it's almost an S tier. And if it weren't for one thing, I would put it in the S tier. It's this right here. If it didn't have California Republic on it, it would be an S tier. But because it's got the writing on it, and because I'm just not a fan at all of writing on state flags, I'm going to move it down. But just down one, California goes in the A tier. Next up is Delaware. Um, I've been to Delaware before. Um, it's, a, it's a lovely state, a lovely little state. It doesn't take long to go through. Uh, it is the home state. Um, as I'm recording this video in 2021, of the current president of the United States, Joseph R. Biden. Um... Delaware was the first state. Uh, it ratified the Constitution on December 7th, 1787. But, I'm just not a fan of the flag. I, I, it's the state seal, and just not a fan of it. Now, you know, December 7th, 1787, if, if they had that and something else on it, it would be okay. Uh, I would still knock it a little bit for the writing on it, but possibly could be, you know, a B tier. Next up is Florida, which is almost an exact copy of Alabama state flag. Uh, the difference is they put their state seal in the middle of it. Um, and I'm not a fan at all of the Florida state flag. It goes in the F tier. Next up is uh, Indiana. Uh, the Hoosier State, um, and it's got a torch followed by 19 stars. Um, Indiana was the 19th state to join the Union. Um, I'm a I'm a big fan of this flag. Um, it's going in the B tier. Iowa is a tricolored flag, um, and Again, it's one of those flags that I'm neither here nor there on, uh, so that it's going to be a C tier. Coming up next is probably the most polarizing f flag of all the state flags, um, and that is Maryland. Either you really like Maryland's state flag, or you really hate it. Uh, I fall in the camp of really liking it. I think it's unique. Um, it is different, and it is colorful, so, I, 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 I am a fan. Next up is the state of Michigan's state flag, and, you know, blue background, state seal, you know what's happening, F tier. And Michigan is a state that could do 
something really special with its state flag. I, it could, there's so many opportunities there. Next up is the state of Montana, and they didn't even try. They put their name and a state seal on a blue background and said, we're done. And Montana is another state, just like Michigan, that could have done so much more, um, such potential there, um, but F tier. New Hampshire, same thing. State seal, the name, and some gold leaf flits around it. Um, not even trying. F tier. In 2002, the American Vexillological Society, uh, which is a group that studies flags uh, and talks about symbolism in flags and just really does what I'm doing right now, uh, but on a professional level, rated this flag out of all the state and territorial flags and provincial flags in North America out of those 72 flags. They rated this one absolutely the best. New Mexico's state flag features this red sun symbol of the Zaya people on a field of gold. It's so simple and so beautiful and such a profound statement and meaningful for where it was that I have to put it in S tier. I, I, I just think this flag is a great flag um, and I, I really like it. So it's S tier and in my opinion it is the most beautiful state flag um, in the country. Next up is Oklahoma. Now, Oklahoma is a state uh, that has a large Native American population. Um, it has the um, buffalo skin shield with seven eagle feathers. And I, I'm just, uh, I'm a fan of this. Um, it pays tribute to the Native American heritage of the state. In fact, I think it could be an S-tier flag if they took off Oklahoma. Uh, just, I, 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 I'm, I'm really hard about that particular thing. Uh, writing the name of the state on the flag. You, you don't need that um, at all. Next up um, is Pennsylvania. State seal, um, coat of arms on a blue background. What have we learned? F tier. Um, next up is Puerto Rico. Um, and, you know, Puerto Rico is not yet a state. Um, I do believe one day it will become a state. Um, and I believe that day is in the near future. Uh, but this is um, the traditional flag. Uh, this is the 1952 uh, flag. Um, but it can be traced to 1868. Um, I'm just a big fan of this flag. I, I like the cultural heritage of it. I think it's a unique flag. Um, we're going to put it in the A tier. Not an S tier, uh, but an, but it's, it, it's, it's an A tier. Next up is the state of South Carolina, one of the original 13 colonies um, in this country, and in all honesty, one of the few of the 13 original that actually tries on its state flag. Um, this is actually based on 
a Revolutionary War flag. Um, so, I am a, I, I like this flag, the Palmetto State, the Crescent Moon. Um, we're going to put it in S tier. I'm just debating between uh, A, E, and S, but you know what? There's no writing on it. You see that Palmetto and the Crescent Moon, and you automatically think of the state of South Carolina. Next up is the state of Texas, and I am probably going to trigger some some Texans on this, uh, so I do apologize uh, for what I'm about to do. The Lone Star flag. It was... It served as a national flag when the Republic of Texas was around. I'm just not a fan of it. I'm sorry, Texans, I'm not. I'm not an F tier on it, but it's just a D tier. Just, just not a fan of it, sorry. The Virgin Islands, um, the American Virgin Islands. Um, you know, this is one I was looking at earlier and I thought about it coming up and I was, I was having a debate of where I was going to put it and I'm just going to put it in the C tier. Um, I like it. I would possibly even put it in the B tier if it weren't for the VI. Um, I, I, I like the Virgin Islands flag more and more as I look at it. Um, that, that's a cool flag. Wisconsin is blue background, state seal, uh, that is an F tier. Uh, next up is the state of Colorado, um, and this is another one of the flags uh, that uh, the minute you see it, uh, you know exactly what state it represents. Um, you've got the blue stripes with the white stripe with the red C and the this is a great flag. I, I really enjoy this flag. So I'm going to put uh, this flag right here in the S tier. Um, and I'm actually going to put it ahead of the Maryland and South Carolina flag. And we're going to rearrange some of these. Wyoming is the best. Of those. There we go. So. And so far, we're just doing some maneuvering here. I'm trying to arrange these in um, order of um, ones I like least. on the F tier. Alright, there we go. Next up is the state of Louisiana, the Pelican State. Uh, you've got a mother pelican feeding um, her young. Um, I'm going to put that in the B tier. Um, equal Justice Confidence uh, is the inscription. Oh, Union, Justice, and Confidence. Um, so, 
Um, kind of like it. Um, but not overwhelmingly. Next up is Minnesota. Um, again, not even really trying, um, in my opinion. Uh, blue background state seal. The Georgia state flag, um, in my opinion, is just an awful flag. Uh, there is no attempt by the state of Georgia to hide its meaning. They had a whole governor's election in 2002 over it. Uh, it is F tier, and in my opinion, it is the worst state flag uh, because it is so overt with what it is about. Next up is uh, Mississippi's new state flag, and if it did not have the In God We Trust, um, it would be an S tier. Uh, my opinion, that does knock it down some, but what it came from to this and what it took to get it there. Um, I, I'm going to put it as the top A tier flag. Uh, South Dakota, again, blue background uh, with the state seal, just not a huge fan of it. Uh, Utah is actually in the process of looking at changing their flag. Um, it's got the state seal, um, but it's one of those state seals that I overlook it being on the flag. I think it's okay. Uh, so that one is a D tier. Uh, next up is the only state flag of the U.S. that's not an actual flag. It's a pennant. Um, it's Ohio state flag. And we're going to put it in the A tier. In the A tier. So, let's take a look next. Uh, this is New York's state flag. No, that is New Jersey. Um, state seal on a blue, on a gold background, uh, F tier. Illinois is the state seal on a white background. Um, I'm going to put it in the D tier because I do like that state seal. Uh, Kansas, like Montana, um, uh, really wasn't even trying and, uh, Kansas has the potential for so much more. Massachusetts also is another state that is in the process of looking at changing their state flag. Um, I am somewhat a fan of theirs. Theirs is uh, one of two in the country that has a um, front and reverse that is different. Uh, so, D tier. Uh, Nebraska, again, another one that doesn't even try... Um, it is an F tier. Um, Oregon, uh, is the other state that has a different front and reverse, but it's not even trying, um, just the, you know, I mean, it's the state name, uh, so we'll put it in the F tier. Tennessee, um, has got the blue stripe. The three stars that represent the three regions of Tennessee, East, Central, East, Middle, and um, West. Uh, that is a B tier. I really like Tennessee's state flag. Uh, wait a minute. Is that Vermont? I might have gotten Vermont. And... Michigan, or not Michigan, um, Maine mixed up earlier. Nope, 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 I did not. Um, and it is the flag of the Green Mountain Boys during the Civil War. You know what? Um, that's going to be a B tier, and it's going to be a pretty high B tier. So, right there. Uh, next up is the state of Washington. Um, it's got the state seal. 
on a green background. But because it is George Washington, we're going to put it in the D tier. Uh, next up is Minnesota. They take, or not Minnesota, Missouri. Missouri, they take the um, state seal and put it on a uh, background with red, white, and blue. Um, for the extra colors, we'll put them in the D tier. And I believe American Samoa... Yep, American Samoa is next. Um, and this is a really interesting flag. I, I really like this flag. Uh, we're going to put it up in uh, the A tier and pretty high um, in the A tier. Guam, um, that's just an interesting flag. It looks like it was created on... Um, Microsoft Paint or something. Um, you know what? We're going to put it in B tier. I'm going to put it pretty high in B tier. Uh, next up is the state of Hawaii. Um, and it was also the flag of uh, Hawaii when it was an independent country. Uh, it has the British ensign in it. Um... I'll put it in the, the D tier. Um, I think they're not going to change it, um, in my opinion. It's not likely. Uh, but I do think that maybe we shouldn't have flags of other countries in our state flags. Uh, so, uh, the Commonwealth of Kentucky, um, Kentucky's, uh, got the blue background, the divided, we fall, united, we stand, um, can, Commonwealth of Kentucky, uh, don't think Kentucky's really trying, uh, so it's an F tier. New York is, um, Excelsior, uh, the blue background with the state seal, um, that is, uh, F tier. Uh, Washington, D.C.'s flag um, is the three red. You know what? I, I really like this flag. Uh, do, 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 do. We're going to put it in the B tier. Uh, the Northern Marianas Islands. Um, I, um, I like this flag. Um, I really do. Uh, that's one of the few times I've actually sat and looked at it. Um, and we're going to put that at the top of the B tier. Uh, West Virginia, uh, that's going to be a D tier. Uh, Battleborn, Nevada. We're going to put Nevada in the uh, C tier. North Carolina uh, is going B tier. So let me do some rearranging here. Um, and we'll get it in the right order. So New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, Maryland, South Carolina. I like that. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, so, um, 
uh, yeah, there's there's the tier. Um, the top prize goes to New Mexico, um, and the bottom flag uh, goes to Georgia. Um, so, now yeah, there's my list. Thanks.